Friends, these are challenging times as we move into lockdown once more and this time as the winter approaches. It's vital that we continue to do whatever we can to reach out to those most affected by the virus in our communities, especially to the lonely and to the isolated, living out God's special heart for the poor as the church at its best has always done. And it's also vital that we continue to stream our services, whether live streaming them, whether recording them, whether working in partnership with other churches, so that together we can come into the presence of the Good Shepherd, who continues to walk with us through the darkest valleys, as well as in the greenest of pastures. Thursday marks the beginning of 28 days of lockdown, and on the Archbishop's initiative, the beginning of 28 days of prayer, Prayer for our communities, for our nation, for our world at this time. And I'd love to encourage every single Christian in the diocese to engage with this and especially to commit ourselves to a particular discipline that the archbishops have encouraged us in. And that is to set the alarms on our uh, mobile phones or on our alarm clocks or wherever to six o'clock in the evening. And at six o'clock when the alarm goes off, to take five minutes out to pray for our nation, to pray for our communities, for the world around us. Of course, that may well end up as much more than five minutes as the Spirit leads. But how good to have that wave of prayer going up from our communities across the diocese, across the nation, at six o'clock every evening of these 28 days. And meanwhile, we're also encouraging every church to toll its bell at six o'clock in the evening to say to our communities that we are praying with them and for them. And if you are able to set aside longer times to pray, maybe a day of prayer and fasting, fasting from food perhaps, fasting maybe from social media or from the TV, that would also bring great blessing to ourselves and to those for whom we pray. And so some words from Paul's letter to the Romans, words of a wonderful blessing which has come to mean a lot to me over these days. May the God of all hope fill you with joy and peace as you put your trust in him so that you may overflow with hope by the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen.